Second V Super Gun Show, and God put it in there, Bob Long Vice, okay? Pound for pound, Bob Long Vice, one of the best guns on the market ever, okay? Gun is absolutely absurd. Uh, I mean, just absolutely absurd. Um, just the efficiency of it, the feel of it, how light it is, how well it shoots. Um, it, you know, it's quiet, it's accurate, it's great. Uh, packaging with the Bob Long products, uh, I, I gotta, I gotta really, I gotta put something out there with the Bob Long products. They're very hit or miss. Sometimes you get an overing kit, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get lube, sometimes you don't. You'll never get a tool. Um, never gotten a barrel sock out of any of the boxes of Bob, Bob Long. Packaging, it's. Um, you just don't, I mean, keep in mind, you're paying $750 for a vice, um, you know, that, that performs as good, if not better, than many of the guns that are on the market right now. Um, packaging, hopefully, is something that Bob Long will come around and, and start really getting a handle on, because unfortunately, you know, that they've always lagged behind in their manuals, it's taken them forever to get manuals out, and they've explained to me and given me the excuses why, you know, they've trusted some people and they didn't fall through, or whatever, but bottom line is, is that, the packaging and the support, um, you know, out of the box with the Bob Long products ha has always been horrible. But with that said, calling them, they've always had some of the best technical support I've ever seen. Bob Long's one of the few people that when you call him up, his place, there's always somebody polite answering the phone. Um, we got some of the best techs on the planet, some of the most friendly techs on the planet. They're at every event. Um, but luckily, Bob Long guns are very simple. They don't require a lot of maintenance. But I, I will got to say, you know, I do got to say that um, the, uh, the Bob Long guns have always been lacking in the, the instruction manuals and, and, you know, the detailed diagrams showing people how to take them apart and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I, I have talked to, to some folks over there at Bob Long and believe me when I say that that's going to change. Just, I'll just leave it at that. That is going to change. Um, but Vice, you know, I, I did the review of the Eagle versus Vice quite a while ago. It's still fresh in a lot of people's minds. Um, great, great gun. Uh, definitely belongs here on the Super Gun Show. Um, you know, comes with a nice milled down trigger, um, a very innovative clamping feed neck. This clamping feed neck that comes on the Bob Long guns um, is, you know, it's toolless. So you, you spin it to get it to adjust. So say you've got a halo that you've got a very wide neck, you unscrew it. If you've got a velocity with a thinner feed neck, you screw, uh, screw it in. But very, very innovative feed neck. Um, just a very sleek, small, great feeling, just, just a great gun. Um, looks like it's made out of liquid metal, very lightweight, comes with a nice 14-inch 694 one-piece barrel. Um, also comes with a pillow bolt, which is really nice. Uh, it drops the balls right in front of the eyes uh, every single time. That's one thing I really like about the pillow bolt. Very narrow, very thin in the back, feels great in the hands. Um, this, this is just a very good, solid marker for the price. Very easy to take apart. Um, I've already got videos up showing you how to take the vice apart, but um, what we're going to do now with the vice, we're going to revisit the efficiency. The last time I uh, efficiency tested this gun, I only had, I believe it was 4,100 PSI on a hot fill. We're going to try to get about 4,500 PSI on a cold fill, see if we can get this gun shooting over maybe 22, 2,300 paintballs on here. Um, now, something else that just came out with uh, for the vice is they did come out with a low pressure poppet. Low pressure poppet actually uses more air, but changes the mechanics of the gun and how it operates. What it does is, is it drops the high pressure rate from about 170 to about 150. Um, it's a little bit of a softer shot. Um, it's a little bit of a quieter noise signature. But you know, if, you, if you're like one of the folks that like the way the die guns shoot, the uh, vice with the low pressure poppet is going to feel a lot like shooting a die. It's very soft, um, very quiet, uh, you know, uh, high volume, low pressure type operation. But uh, I just can't say enough good things about the Vice. One of my favorite guns right now on the market is 750 bucks. They shoot absolutely amazing. Great boards. Very easy to use. Very easy to program. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll take it out there and do an efficiency test on it. And uh, let's waste another case or more paint. So enjoy. Now we'll do is we'll go ahead and weigh the Vice. Two pounds, two ounces for the vice. Okay. So the Eagle. It's Michael Tech BB, and uh, we're gonna do the rivet uh, revisit on the vice review. And what we're gonna do is do an efficiency test. So we'll show you what with what we're working with. 
Okay, first thing we'll show you here is that we're sitting right at about 4,000 PSI on the CP tank. We'll also go ahead and measure the temperature of the tank. Looks like it's measuring in at about 97, 98 degrees. So what we'll do here is we'll put some uh, paint in there and uh, put a couple shots over the chronograph. That's pod number one. Some 283, 290, 292, 293, 295. Okay, so we're sitting right around about 14 pods off of a 4,000 PSI fill shooting about 293, 294 feet per second. And what happened was, was we had the eyes on delay and uh, that's what was going on with it. So we had to shut the gun off, turn it back on again and set the eyes back to force. So.